Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about Oriental Furniture. The best vintage Asian Chinese furniture brands. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our channel for future updates. For decades, Westerners and individuals of Asian heritage have been drawn to Oriental Furniture. Of fact, the name Oriental Furniture refers to a variety of styles. Chinese furniture, Japanese furniture, and other adaptations are also possible. Lacquer treatments, burled woods, and distinctive, eastern-inspired shapes are common aspects of this kind of furniture. Many vintage furniture companies, on the other hand, attempted to put their own stamp on Asian furniture. Some designers adapted the chinoiserie aesthetic to more western creations. Others tried their hand at fusing styles. For example, you can come across colonial-style furniture with chinoiserie painted motifs. Finally, several furniture companies attempted to manufacture exact replicas of Asian antiques resulting in a search for more authentic Asian aesthetics. As a result, when it comes to finding used oriental furniture, customers have a lot of options. As a result, here is our list of the greatest brands to search for in this style. Number 7. Henradin Asian Furniture. Henradin Furniture is frequently featured in the Vintage Furniture Guide. This North Carolina firm produced a wide range of high-quality furniture in a variety of styles. The mid to higher market of high-end furniture stores was frequently carried by their distinctive spin on specific styles. Their oriental furniture, of course, is no exception. From the 1970s to the mid-1990s, Henradin Asian furniture had a big following and was extremely popular. Henradin had a few fantastic lines that capitalized on the distinct forms of oriental furniture. The Henradin seam one line, for example, may appeal to you, because of its clean lines and brass hardware. Burl walnut veneers and rectangular brass hinges, and hardware are featured on this series of furniture. You might also enjoy the Henradin Folio 16 collection. Folio 16 designs were drawn from China's rich creative, past, according to a Henradin catalogue from the mid-1980s. Inspired by the greatest furnishings of the Ming and Qing dynasties, these Asian chairs, cabinets, and case pieces were created. Folio 16 designs frequently included raised panels with floral and plant life themes. The vintage Henradin Folio 16 furniture offers a good balance of yin and yang. Number 6. Baker Furniture. Baker, a fine furniture maker, profited from the oriental furniture craze. Baker Furniture did make some lovely painted and wood furniture with Asian influences. Baker's painted furniture is notable for its attention to exquisite detail and high craftsmanship. This high-end furniture manufacturer specialized in oriental style, hand-painted cabinets, chairs, sideboards, and chests in the early 1980s. As a result, old oriental furniture by Baker, for example, may nevertheless carry a significant price tag. Many of these works were priced in the six-figure range. Many of Baker's items, such as those from the Stately Homes collection, have been modified from typical 17th and 18th century antiques, believe it or not. As a result, Asian furniture frequently incorporates a westernized version of Asian arts. Pagodas, gardens, and wildlife abound in these unique works. Number 5. Drexel Asian Furniture. Drexel Asian Furniture, also known as Drexel Heritage Asian Furniture, is a popular option for gorgeous oriental furniture. Of course, Drexel produced multiple iterations of Asian chairs, Asian china cabinets, Asian secretary desks, and stunning Asian accent furniture for the American market from the 1960s to the 1990s. Drexel's black lacquer case pieces were the most notable of these lines. These gorgeous works included a black lacquer background with gold, green and pink scenes. Many of the general designs were converted to Drexel oriental cabinets with rubbings and stencils to automate the manufacture process. The motifs were then filled in with fine painting brushes laden with gold paint by artists. Finally, high-quality furniture lacquer was applied on these pieces. Many Drexel Heritage Asian cabinets, to their surprise, have actual gold leaf in the backing. Of course, with the above cabinet lighting, this gives Drexel Asian cabinets a gorgeous and rich appearance. Drexel Asian furniture, on the other hand, did not merely have lovely outside embellishments. It also showed off some excellent craftsmanship. This quality is demonstrated through dovetailed drawers, solid wood dust covers and backs, and solid brass hardware. Number 4. Century Furniture Asian Furniture. Century Furniture Company has a few Asian furniture lines that were rather unusual. 
Their range of Chin Hua furniture was one of their most well-known oriental furniture types. In the late 1970s, century Chin Hua furniture first emerged on the market. This furniture series has a distinct appearance. To begin with, Chin Hua furniture has a one-of-a-kind combination of black, lacquer finishes and blonde burl wood veneers. For example, the solid black finish can be found on the sides and body of century furniture Chin Hua cabinets. The cabinet and glass doors, on the other hand, have a gorgeous grain of walnut, maple, or ziri coat that is polished in a yellow-orange tint. Clearly, the extreme contrast creates an eye-catching and enticing combination. In addition, the hardware on Century Furniture Oriental products is often highly bright and jewelry-like. As a result, a geometric backplate may be found on a brass handle. Alternatively, the draw pulls may be hefty metal rings. Of course, as with most Century Furniture, these remarkable designs are accompanied by meticulous craftsmanship. The majority of Century Furniture drawers are made of solid wood. Solid oak is frequently used on the inside of drawers. Dovetailed drawers and solid wood shelves and backs are also included. This also makes Century Asian furniture quite heavy, so ask the support of a strong friend if you're relocating. Number 3. Jasper Cabinet Company. On our list, the Jasper Cabinet Company from Jasper, Indiana is a lesser known furniture company. However, if you enjoy Asian style furniture, Jasper Cabinet Oriental Furniture is an excellent alternative. Accent furniture, such as workstations and tiny tables, was a specialty of the Jasper Company. Their oriental style desks, china cabinets, and curios, on the other hand, need special attention. Jasper, like Drexel Furniture Company, mass-produced chinoise painted furniture using a number of techniques. As a result, you'll notice that the exquisite motifs and settings on Jasper cabinets and secretaries are almost identical. However, because the designs were painted by hand, there will be some variance in the decorations. In addition, like Drexel furniture, the majority of Jasper's Asian furniture has a black lacquer background. However, Jasper's red lacquer furniture can be found on occasion. Number 2. Ethan Allen Asian Furniture. Ethan Allen was recognized for their conventional French and colonial designs, but they also dabbled in oriental furniture. In the 1970s and 1980s, when oriental furniture became popular, Ethan Allen capitalized on the trend by producing reasonably priced Asian furniture. For a distinct chinoise aesthetic, Ethan Allen mixed French designs with Asian motifs on occasion. As a result, you could come across vintage Ethan Allen servers, with a painted Asian theme in a curving French design. However, you may also discover used Ethan Allen furniture with an Asian theme. Geometric fretwork can be found on the corners and undersides of tables, servers, and cabinets. You'll also find beautiful, one-of-a-kind brass hardware and corner pieces that look like they belong on Asian antique furniture. Number 1. Bernhardt Asian Furniture. Consumers who enjoy Asian furniture will appreciate Bernhardt Asian Furniture. Bernhardt Asian Furniture also has a distinct style that sets it apart from the other oriental furniture on our list. Chunky circular legs, for example, are common on Bernhardt Asian furniture. Bernhardt Oriental furniture can also have a top that extends beyond the base. This pagoda design has a very appealing appearance, especially in light cherry or maple woods. Bernhardt Oriental furniture can also have very eye-catching brass-style hardware. Bernhardt buffets and console tables look fantastic with their sparkling, gold hardware and accent corner pieces. Finally, many Bernhardt Oriental furniture pieces have painted incised motifs. Indeed, exquisite floral and bird designs can be found on cabinet doors and accent coffee tables. For designers, homeowners, and those wishing to add an ethnic flair to their interiors, used Oriental furniture offers the best of both worlds. Many high-end furniture firms, of course, continue to sell amazing and unusual hand-painted lacquer furniture with Asian designs. Used oriental furniture, on the other hand, is often a fraction of the price of new oriental furniture. Furthermore, these high-end historical labels provide distinct quality and materials. Of course, solid woods, fine decorative veneers such as burl walnut and mahogany and even gold leaf were employed by many of these brands. And the majority of them had artists who hand-painted the embellishments. So, if you're looking for second-hand oriental furniture online, you'll need to know which brands to look for. These businesses were known for their excellence and endurance. So, for your home, invest in high-quality Asian vintage furniture. What do you think about this video? 
do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.